Hey guys, welcome to lesson three of our player designer series. This time we're going to be looking at how to get our character jumping around as you can see here. And we will also fix this up in our phone control with its jumping animation as well. So let's begin. Right, in my character, uh, I have already imported uh, two jumping animations, but we won't touch this until the follow-up tutorial of this. We're going to go to the events of our character, and we're going to add two events. I'm going to add a basic when updating event. I'm also going to add a collision event with a member of a group. Now, you will want to make sure that your character under properties, uh, you'll want to make sure that the grouping for this is set to players. Now, to understand a little bit more about this, uh, as often, your the grouping for actor may be under actors, and so we want to change it to our player. And to understand a little bit more, all these different collision groupings, these are the rules of the game. And so if the groupings or the rules are not set up properly, it doesn't matter what we code, it will not interact with each other. And so here I can see that you can select these different items on the side. I've created a bunch of my own. And so when you click on players, you can see that it can collide with everything that's highlighted in green. And so what's most important for us this time is to make sure our player can collide with tiles. Okay, so you want to make sure this is highlighted in green. Likewise, if you click on tiles, it can collide with players, which is also highlighted in green as well. Okay, a few other things you will want to make sure you do is under the physics setting is you'll want to make sure your character cannot rotate. By default, your character can rotate, and it'll look kind of funny when your character starts jumping around. He's going to start flipping and turning. And so we want to avoid that. So set can rotate to no. We do want him to be affected by gravity. And while we're setting these other things up, let's go over to our scene. And in your scene, you'll want to set the physics property, and you'll want to set the vertical gravity to 98. And you can really play around this number as you like. Um, I prefer to use 98 as a representation of 9.8 meters per second squared, uh, which is the gravitational pull of the Earth, uh, or of any object on the Earth. OK, let's get back into our character design now. And so we're going to go into events. And so we're going to start adding things here now. So we're going to say, you can rename this to is touching Four. I'm going to rename this to jump. And for is touching floor, I'm going to set this to self. So when myself, when my character hits an actor of, and I'm going to choose the group of tiles. Okay, so if I hit a tile, I'm going to create a game attribute now, and it's going to be a Boolean attribute. I'm going to call it character. Character touching, touching, floor. And the initial value is going to be false. Actually, we probably want that to be true. We want him to be touching the floor. So I'm going to set that back to true. And it's not showing up in my center. So I'm just going to close this down. I'm going to reopen my character. I'm going to check the coding again. And I'm going to go back to is touching floor. So occasionally Stencil has this bug where when you after you create an attribute, it doesn't show up. Okay, it is back now. And I'm gonna set this value to comparison true. So I'll just do that one more time, that was a little bit fast. So you can click on that, comparison, true. And the reason we're doing this is what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep track of whether our character is touching the floor. And only if our character is touching the floor and we press the jump button, do we want him to jump, right? If, you don't, if we don't set it up like this, we're going to get an infinite amount of jumps for our characters, and that's not something that you want, okay? So even if you spam that jump button, he can only jump when he's touching the floor. Okay, let's get into our jumping now. And so we're going to create under flow, we're going to grab an if. We're going to grab an equals, and we're going to grab a true here. We're also going to go to game attributes, and we're going to go into getters, and we're going to check whether 
the character is touching the floor is true or not. Now, if you're an expert programmer, you can actually simplify this and just throw that in by itself. Uh, but this is probably a little bit easier for most people to understand. So if touching floor variable is true, um, we are going to move our character and we're going to go to motion. We're going to set the Y speed to a negative value. I'm going to do negative 40, just a nice big value. We're also going to do one more thing is we're going to set the game attribute. So I'm going to go to setters. We're going to set touching floor to false. And we're missing one more thing here. We're also going to need to go into flow and if we are under user input, control, and under controls, we're going to choose up or whatever your jump button is going to be. If up is down, I know that sounds a little bit strange, but if that means if we're pushing our up button, okay, we're gonna put all this together like that. Right, so if we look at this code, if the character is touching the floor and we push our up button, we decrease the Y speed and we set character touching floor to false. So let's test that out and uh, while it's testing, I might just explain why this is negative value. And that's because if you move your mouse around the screen here, you'll notice if you move your mouse down, that Y value there increases and it's already loaded up. So let's just check whether this is working or not. Okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna span my jump button okay, and that's looking really good. So that should be working if you followed the instructions properly. But I just wanna conclude and explain a little bit further about this code. Why is this a negative value? So, as I said, if you're moving your mouse down, you'll notice the Y value down here actually increases. And so if we increase the Y value, that actually says, hey, move into the ground, move into the ground further and further. So if we want a character to jump or move up, we actually have to decrease the Y value. So if you try moving your mouse up, you see the Y value actually decreases down here. Right, so that's why this is a negative value. And uh, likewise, we set character touching the floor because he's now jumping in the air. He's no longer touching the floor. Okay. When is he touching the floor again? When he hits a tile. Right, that concludes this tutorial. Uh, this isn't the most perfect way of the character touching a tile and getting him to jump, but uh, it will serve our purposes for now. Uh, I'll talk more about how we can improve this in the follow-up tutorial to this, as well as changing the animation of our character. See you guys next time.